St. Louis Bourbon Society members, hello, it is Mike, and I am in my little space here in my basement bar, chilling out, and I'm here with a special bottle. Uh, this bottle was given to me for review by Barrel Blends in Afton. Thank you, Mo and Dale. And this today is um, Redline Elements Ambirana Wood Finish, and it is a stunner. Obviously, we've enjoyed a little bit of this stuff already. Um, so I want to get into it and not spend too much time dawdling around, but Redline Whiskey out of Paducah, Kentucky. Um, this is sourced whiskey and then it's finished in unique ways. This one being the current trend, which is of course, Ambirana Wood. It's everywhere. The recent Penelope release, Rio, Ambirana and Honey Barrel finish. Um, the Ambirana Wood is a Brazilian wood. It's a very expensive wood and not easy to obtain, but when you use it, you get some really cool finishes on things. And this one is definitely unique. Uh, it clocks in at, I always need my glasses. Where are my glasses? There are my glasses right there. Um, this one is going in at 114 proof. Um, and again, this is a Barrel Blends and uh, A1 Wine and Spirits in St. Peter's collaboration, actually, not just Barrel Blends. But what do we have here? Boom, off we go into the glass let's go we'll pour yes we don't rate color here but we do look at the color it is it looks like whiskey so right away um on the nose it's just here's the thing ambironic gives most whiskeys a powerful hit of cinnamon in this case it's sort of like um if you had cinnamon toast and you put a little caramel drizzle on top of it and you were smelling like a toasted oak barrel at the same time. So toasted oak, caramel, cinnamon toast. It is, it's like a warm hug in the glass. A nice nose, very comforting. Now, I will admit, the, the nose on this reminds me of something I would love to have around the fire pit on a cool evening in the autumn or spring. It is technically still spring, so if you have a cool evening coming up and a fire pit going on, um, the kids have some s'mores, some marshmallows and sticks, you have this in your glass and you're enjoying cinnamon, caramel, toast, sweet oak. Yum. That's a nose. Man, it's good stuff. Wow. Now my sister, of course, the scoring is zero, one, two, zero, missing something, two, fantastic, one, it's expected. So this is a two. Um, I, I love cinnamon. I love that smell. I like the, the caramel drizzle in there. Let's taste it. Mm. So that cinnamon spice, it goes right up the middle with clove, with nutmeg. And on the edges, it's like melted butter. Mm. Yes, that is fantastic. I'm going to, um, that was a little call from some bourbon friends. I canceled that call. Um, yeah, the palette is um, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, butter, brown sugar. If you've had a brown sugar pie from the South, I know um, in Arkansas, uh, my aunt would make a, a brown sugar, she called it a Betty maybe, but it had the sort of flavors of real powerful punch of clove in there and cinnamon over top. Um, almost almost an apple flavor happening on the end. Like Granny Smith apples that have been kind of cooked down in some butter, brown sugar and cinnamon. Yeah, totally. Apple tart maybe? What I love about the, the, the palette is um, it's got a velvety, you might say like luxurious, uh, f just feel to it. It's very silky, very creamy, mouth coating. Mm. And it plays with the nose beautifully, yeah. So it's a it's a two on the on the palate. So um, the finish it's very subtle. Um, there's a little bit of black pepper. There's some sweet oak that kind of you can feel for its for its proof. It does. It's not hot. It's a very mild, mellow, uh, smooth. Ooh, the smooth word. Look out! Uh, it goes down nice and gently. It's quite nice. This is. Um, 
a silky, generous, luxurious, cinnamony, pie-like, buttery bottle of deliciousness. It is $74.99, 75 bucks. Uh, A1 St. Peter's and Barrel Blends on the Rock Road in Afton as well. Um, I The finish, I'll give it a one. So it's two, two, one. So a five out of six. This is a winner. And the value is there um, for a whiskey of this caliber. Redline, good job. Um, Mo and Dale, good pick. Nice work. Until next time, guys, I will see you soon. Adios, amigos.